Hello everyone, Chance here. Today will be Q&A number 16. If you'd like to leave me questions for the next Q&A, please comment them down in the comment section below on this video and I'll use them in the next episode. Let's do it. So question number one comes from Everything is Awesome. He says, Ronaldo, is that you? Question number two comes from Caleb Likes PC. He says, what BBs do you use and everything about them? PS, love your videos. Do more jungle type videos. Thank you so much. Uh, I use Elite Forest 0.28 gram BBs. My gun's shooting slightly over 400 feet per second, and I think 2.8s are perfect for around 400. 370-ish, I would recommend 2.5s. And then uh, I guess if you're under 350, maybe 2.0s, 2.3s, things like that. But I still don't run anything under a 2.5. Just, I don't shoot anything that low of a velocity. And if I do, it's a gas gun, and it can usually still handle a heavier BB just fine. So, I would recommend a .28 uh, Elite Force BB if you are using a 400 foot per second gun. Rabbit Operator, he says, I see every Milsim player bash on my type of aggressive playstyle, Speedsoft. What do you think about Speedsoft, or do you think it's killing Airsoft, or is it a good thing? I think it's a great thing. To be completely honest with you, I fucking hate Milsim. Just when I play with Milsim players or go to events, I have way more complaining and bitching and cheating and just everyone just having a horrible time when I go to Milsim events. But I go to a pickup game at a CQB field or even an outdoor field, just as long as it's a pickup game. Everyone's having fun, running around, enjoying themselves. But I don't know. I don't like the whole Milsim thing, honestly. It's just not my style. If you like it, that's cool. Just for me personally, I just think it's fucking annoying. I just can't stand the players that honestly play Milsim mainly. And I'm not a speed softer, but I do play aggressive, and I personally think that's awesome. Uh, more people that are running around shooting each other being aggressive, not only is it a better play style because uh, you're able to lock down angles better because you're able you're advancing more on the field opposed from, let's say, being more passively playing, and everyone has their own play style, but I don't think speed soft's killing airsoft in any way. If anything, I think it's making it better. Everyone has their preference, just like how I don't like Milsim, so that's just my opinion, though. D Clam and Cardi, he says, love the vids, thank you. He says, my question is, are you going to any Milsim events soon? No. <laughs> For real, bra, oh one. Well, he says, what do you think about support gunner shooting at high rounds per second? Uh, I don't have a problem with it. It's a support gunner. He's supposed to uh, apply suppressive fire anyways. It doesn't bother me. I guess it just depends on the game type too. Uh, if it's a semi-auto only game, support gunners, I feel, should have a lock FPS just to make it fair. But if it's an all full auto game, then who gives a fuck? Run what you can. Broski Storm, he says, what type of women do you like? Uh, fat women. Nah, I don't know. Fucking, I guess just chicks that are cool, down to earth. Chicks that are nice. A chick that will treat my friends just as good as she could treat me. Like, nothing's worse than when you meet a chick and you think she's cool, but she's actually only nice to you because she likes you, and she actually treats people like shit. You just happen to be the person she likes. That's just, I'm not like that. I think that's fucked up. I couldn't be with someone who's so stuck up and full of themselves, so, uh... Just a woman who's down to earth and nice and friendly. That would be fucking really cool. But I live in Wyoming and everyone here is a fucking asshole. So, uh, yeah, wish me luck. Robert Schultz. I believe I pronounced that right. Uh, he says, do you get frustrated with yourself if you don't get any airsoft footage that you think is good? Absolutely I do. I record every time I play airsoft and let's say if I'm getting a good streak and then I die because someone cheated or uh, someone shot me in a way that was against the rule set or... Just something like that. That'll, like, of course, I'll call my hit and try to be a good sport, but I'll be, like, thinking to myself, like, fuck, that really pissed me off. Like, I had this awesome streak going or a potential high streak arriving, and then I fuck it up somehow. That kind of gets frustrating, or if I'm just dying a lot that day, just being careless and not playing right, you know? Everyone has their off days. Uh, that does. It does make me frustrated because... I only play airsoft once a week, and if I don't get footage that week, then I'm going to have to like put the videos farther and farther back behind each other because I didn't get footage that week. That makes sense. So yeah, it does make me frustrated, but it's not too bad. Cypher Jinx, he says, do you think kids are ruining airsoft? Absolutely not. Honestly, I have two 10-year-olds playing on my field, and we shoot at 400 feet per second in CQB on my field, and we will shoot these kids point blank. And never once have they ever complained, cried, nothing. They just call their hit, they get off the field, and they'll be shooting us right back. They're badass fucking kids. And it's funny because the only time I've ever had people complain about guns hurting are the 50-year-olds, the Milsim players, honestly. I'll have Milsim players show up in my field sometimes, and we'll shoot them, and they'll be saying my gun's shooting 600 feet per second. So we bust out the chrono, pop around through it, and my gun's like 398 to about 403, and they're like, oh, well, there's no way your gun's shooting that weak. It's like, all right, have you not played CQB before? You know what I mean? So I definitely don't think kids are ruining airsoft. They're the future of the sport. They're dedicated. They love the sport. And there shouldn't be an age limit on it anyways, but 
No, kids are definitely not ruining it. If anything, the adults are. The Swedish operator says, what kind of scope cam do you use? The specs. Uh, I use a ATN Shot Track HDX, uh, and it records 1080 30 frames per second. I really wish they would update it to 60. I'd be buying it. It's a great scope cam. I love it. Uh, I'd highly recommend it if you were looking for one. Mental Airsoft Nut, he says, what is your opinion on older players on the field? In my, I'm in my 40s, and I find that younger players like sharing knowledge just as much as I do. I see a lot of players my age plowing over kids and blaming them for being in the way. I usually have them follow me and aim for a headshot or try to shoot them. The younger generation is what's keeping this sport alive. I completely agree. As I said the question before, I just don't know what it is with older players. They just, I don't know what it is. Uh, I've never really have younger kids causing problems. It's mainly adults, and... I don't know, honestly, maybe it's just they get upset because they're getting killed by younger people, or maybe it's just stubbornness or inexperience with the game. I'm not too sure. I just notice every adult's complaining other than kids, but uh, who cares? There's not an age limit on the field. doesn't matter how old you are. If you're having fun and enjoying yourself, fuck it. Um, make yourself one of the cool ones, though. You know what I mean? That's what makes people stand out are the cool airsoft players. The ones who are dicks and elitist are the ones who can fuck themselves. Uh, the cool players and down-to-earth ones who actually want the sport to grow are the ones who need to stay. So, Caleb Matthews, if I could turn gay for anyone, it would be you. Thank you. Slide into my DMs. <laughs> Ethan Bolt, he says, what is a good CQB gun? I was looking for an M4 platform, but I don't like the triangle sights. P.S. Love the videos. Thank you so much. I appreciate you supporting the channel. Uh, I'd recommend the ICS Captain. Ama and it's amazing. It's an amazing gun. Jesus. I'm all fucking all over the place. It's a fantastic gun. I have one. I love it. I use it in CQB when I'm in really tight corners. It's a very small gun, but still has like the range of a standard like M4 barrel length. So I would highly recommend that. And it's not inexpensive, but it's pretty cheap for a high end ICS gun and it will rip. Trust me. So I would highly recommend that one. How long have you been playing Airsoft? Besides ICS, what is your second favorite brand? That's from Woodland Bear Airsoft. Uh, I've been playing Airsoft now, I think, for two and a half years. Yeah, about two and a half years. I haven't been playing for very long, but two and a half years. And my second favorite manufacturer. Ah, probably KWA or... I don't know, it just depends. Uh, probably KWA, I would say. I, I like their stuff. I would, I would say KWA. Uh, kind of hard. Crytac's pretty good, uh, for handguns and stuff. I like ASG in elite force handguns and stuff but uh i don't really have a second favorite honestly because when it comes to age ags i just don't run, run anything other than ics i just feel like nothing can compete with it in my opinion personally so i don't run too many ags other than ics just because i don't feel they're up to par in my opinion but when it comes to handguns and gas guns i think kwa and like asg and elite force and stuff so just my opinion for the final question this will be from cool girl she says how much does your gun cost counting all of what you have added to it. I'm guessing upgrades and stuff like that. Uh, the gun was originally $300. I have a T1 on it. I have a vertical grip on it for the externals. Technically, I run an 11.1 10 energy battery. I run a... What is my motor? I run a Fox Custom High Torque motor in it. Fox Custom 602 363 millimeter inner barrel. I have like a 10, 110 millimeter barrel extension on it. I have an MA MOSFET, which is a malicious airsoft one. Yeah, malicious airsoft's my airsoft team. Yeah, my father, who's the tech, has made air, uh, MOSFETs, and they're fucking brutal. They're badass. So I run that in it, and then uh, I upgraded my piston to uh, God, I can't remember what the is it a Fox Custom? It might be a Fox Custom Full Metal Tooth Piston I might have in there. And then I have a Fox Custom M120 spring in it as well. I run a lot of Fox Custom parts. I just really like them. They're pretty high quality, so I dig them. But uh, all that together, I'm guessing, is close to 500, I would guess. Maybe a little more. I'm not too sure. But yeah, I got quite a few upgrades to it, so I have quite a bit of money put into it. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to leave me questions in the next Q&A, please comment them down in the comment section below. You can serious ones or funny ones. It doesn't really matter to me. But hope you enjoyed the video. You be safe and take care and have a good day. Bye. If you really care.